back to the casual puzzler to another video I am so excited for this one this is a brand that I have been really eyeing for a while I've owned the puzzle for about a year and for some reason it has never done it and it is pinned to they actually reached out to me and they asked if they could send me a puzzle to do for review I said I already have one but would you mind giving me a puzzle anyways for a giveaway and they ended up sending me three so we are doing this video today. I am doing a puzzle for you and I'll show you the brand and tell you all about it. I'm giving one of these puzzles away today, but then two of the puzzles I'm giving away in future videos. So make sure to subscribe and follow the December videos because you'll be able to have a chance to win a couple more throughout the month. So this is a part of my Around the World series. If you're new to my channel, I have been trying brands from all over the world and today's video is going to be a brand from Taiwan. So I am going to leave timestamp down below just so you can see the the style of this video so I'm first going to talk a little bit about the brand and what they are so I am going to show you the puzzles I have from them and show you the puzzle that will be giving away in this video then I will have a section of me showing you the puzzle that I am doing and what it looks like inside the box and then we'll come back and I'll give you a little bit more information about my experience and all that fun such so a little bit about Pintu before we get off because they are definitely unique Pintu does not use cardboard for their pieces they use plastic pieces and their whole concept is that you can put them all together and it's such a secure and tight fit that you can hang them on a wall, display them anywhere without glue, not even without a frame if you don't want to, but they do carry frames to sell that fit around them as well. They also carry some 3D options. I was looking at one of their websites and they have a ton of options for 3D puzzles as well. And I'll leave them down below from a couple different options. Like I know there's a North America one, but they also have a European one and an Asian one as well. So I'll leave all their information and contact stuff down below if you want to check them out. But we are just going to get into this with the puzzles that I have here, including this first one, which is the giveaway item for today. So if you guys have missed it, I am doing a giveaway for every single video in the month of December, and that includes this one. So they did send these puzzles to me. Honestly, with this one, I'm a little jealous because it is stunning. So this one is called Tranquil Summer Beach. It is one of their newer puzzles. And look at the color. Like, you can just see the color on here. Oh my gosh, it's so bright and colorful, and it's just like a lot of sky and water. I really wanted this one, but I ended up choosing the one that I purchased myself because this was probably going to take a little bit longer than I had to film, but it is gorgeous. I can see me doing this and actually hanging it on a wall when we move to our new place. So this is actually on my wish list currently, but this is the one being given away today. So make sure you follow all the things down below in the description box so you can enter. And thank you so much to Pintu for supplying this puzzle for the giveaway. The next puzzle we have is called The Nook of Cafe Shop. And this one is super fun, reminds me of wallpaper. It just is a beautiful illustration. You know, it's like little buildings, but it's also coffee stuff. I'm sure you're seeing a close up so you can understand the concept of why I think it looks like wallpaper, but it's a really cute illustration. And then the third one that they sent me is called time to relax and this is just a, such a sweet one where it's like a dog family and like a garden like sitting on this little bench super cute you have a variety of different piece counts from 500 to I think 4,000 so a huge range and they retail between 18 to 42 dollars depending on the size and the puzzles so they're pretty affordable considering you're getting a piece of art that you can hang on your wall and so we are just going to go over the final puzzle that I have to mention which is the one I'm doing in this video which is the one I purchased like look how cute this one is uh, it's called it's called daily life and it is this cat inside of a claw game like one of those claw vending machine things and it's like as if it was full of catnip and he's just chilling in there. He's so chunky. Super bright, very colorful, very fun. You can tell why I bought it. I'm a cat lady. And so this is the one we will be doing today. I'm going to show you some overhead footage of me opening it up, discovering it for the first time, doing the puzzle, and then hanging it on a wall. So let's just get into it. All right, so here is the box for the Pintu puzzle. Very traditional puzzle box, but right on the front you can see they do have a missing piece replacement policy which is free if you are missing a piece. Um, it gives you the instructions to do so here to request a new one. Let me just show you the rest of the box. 
On the back it doesn't have too much, but there is some information here that I'm going to read. So it does say that it's easy to move around, does not fall apart when picked up, no glue required, ready to frame, no messy scraps, water resistant printing, and unique puzzle pieces. So let's just open this up. There is cellophane on top, so I'm just going to remove that and show you what's inside. There is this little extra piece of cardboard which keeps everything contained. And then it looks like there's a couple bags of pieces. I'm not quite sure. Oh, there's... Okay, hold on. Let me see what's going on. <laughs> it looks like it is for the frame. It looks like there, if you can see on the box there that it does require some assembly for the frame part, but it looks like puzzle pieces. And then bags one and two are the pieces themselves. So. I'm just gonna see what these look like. They are plastic. I don't know if you can hear that. They are plastic pieces. And I'm just I'm gonna open up bag number one first. off the bat I'm noticing is how bright they are at least for this puzzle they are extremely bright pieces traditional puzzle shapes and they are plastic so they're nice heavy duty plastic um, relatively small in size but I'm not too mad about that because the quality seems really nice and yeah I'm really excited about this it's looks like really fun pieces really bright colors like this pink is just like calling to me so it does look like they have no edges in here the edges are these guys um so that's something to mention but you can tell where the edge is because it has like this like divided color so it's color in the, the white little line um so you can tell like which are the edges of the puzzle but it doesn't have like a flat edge because that's what these are because these are the frame pieces um so i'm just gonna start working on this if i have anything to mention i'll let you know but so far i'm excited um it just looks it's such it's unique you know it's i'm just gonna dive into this all right a few things that i'm noticing right off the bat is one it is super fun and satisfying to put in these pieces they are super secure like completely flat so I can pick up like full sections or at least like a lot of pieces at a time, which is really cool. I'm also realizing that with the two separate ba bags, bags one and two, I did empty out the second set of puzzle pieces here and I just put them on a tray just in case I needed them. But so far I'm realizing all the pieces on the top are in this first bag. So it does kind of divide the pieces up, which it's nice if you have small surfaces and you don't have a large space to like separate pieces, especially maybe in their larger currents. I'm not sure how small each section of puzzle pieces is. Like if it was a thousand pieces, would they divide it up into four bags? I'm not quite sure, but so far I don't mind that it's in two separate bags um, just because it makes it a little bit easier to work with. I feel like it's going to make it a little bit faster. Um, for you, you may want the extra challenge and put it all together, um, which I could see me doing as well, but so far I'm realizing that it does matter which bag. So bag one was the top, bag two is the bottom, but we're just gonna continue working on this, but already I'm having a lot of fun with this. Now that we're gonna touch base, I'm loving this. Like look how secure these pieces are. Like this whole section, no issues. Um, super satisfying to put in the puzzle pieces. So this like a nice clip to it. And it's been so much fun. So this already, I'm like having a blast. Um, so I'll continue on, but just so you know, it's, it's a cool experience.
right, so the first half is done. And as you can see, I can completely pick up this whole section with no issues. Like, I'm not even being delicate. Here is the final image. Super cute. I absolutely love this. I love like, I don't even know if you can tell, but how tight those pieces are. You can even like tell on the back side where it's like, you can barely see that some of them are puzzle pieces. I mean, I feel like I could do like a rolling pin and just like smooth everything out, but isn't that crazy? So now I need to go find a place to hang this so you can see, so you can see if it works. But I can completely like do whatever with this guy and it's like crazy. Anyways, I'm going to put it on this hole here, this nail. I'm going to put it on this nail here and see if it works. It may be something that you need like two to like keep it level, but we're just going to test this baby out. Eh, it kind of works. What do you think? That's a puzzle? It's a puzzle. That's crazy. That is crazy. Um, All we need is a small earthquake. <laughs> I think if I was to like actually keep these on the wall, I would probably get either two nails on the back side just so it has a little bit more, it can be level, be a bit more secure. Or you can actually like put, get frames for these from them and then you have something else to hang it up with. All right, we are back. And as you can tell, I think this is like the coolest thing. I tried to keep my cool in the intro because I had already done the puzzle, but it was hard. It was, it was such a cool experience. Definitely a unique experience for me. Kind of reminded me of my 3D puzzles because I do have some plastic pieces with those. And it's just so satisfying when you're putting in the pieces, especially with these ones. I didn't have a single false fit this whole entire day. Like it was so incredible. It was so satisfying to put those pieces in. There's like, just like that really loud click when you had the pieces like get into place. And I love the fact that it's like completely flat and you can easily hang this on a wall like somewhere. So it is a brand that I'm really curious about and I already was looking at their Amazon list because I was like, oh my gosh, I want more from them. And so I even told Dave, I was like, when we get our house, I'm gonna get one of these puzzles for my puzzle room. He's like, okay. So it was a really cool experience. And I think for the price point, it's a great option if you are someone who likes the idea of hanging a puzzle but don't necessarily want to glue your puzzles it's cool that they are able to kind of do that without the glue without the mess without the hassle and it's just done you know you do the puzzle it looks beautiful you hang it on the wall and it's done um or you can just take it apart and redo it later on but i think for me when i'm looking at these puzzles it's definitely more for like an art piece versus doing them as like a puzzle, if that makes sense. They're just really fun. They're just a really good concept and I really am enjoying this brand. I am actually putting this one on my Christmas wish list. I already did. I put it on my Amazon wish list because this one is just beautiful and I love doing sky. So I have a feeling I am going to love this one, but I'm excited that one of you can actually win it. So make sure to follow down below. Make sure to give them some love down in their Instagrams. Again, they are kind of, they are sold in a bunch of different countries. So I'll leave as much as I can down below about the brand. If you have done any of their puzzles, please let me know down below if you've had similar experiences or a puzzle that you think I would enjoy because I am so torn of which one I want to do next. They have some really cool images. And I am brutally honest, I don't lie. And so I really don't have a fault for this brand right now. And that's very rare. Um, I guess maybe it's the fact that some of the piece sizes don't have frames available on Amazon. That's about it. <laughs> um, I, I think it's just because they're sold out. So when things are sold out, they just don't post those products. That's possible that what's happening. Um, but other than that, like... I love it. I loved it so much. I was telling Dave the whole entire time like how much fun I was having. Super bright and colorful. Love the fit. Love the concept. Great time. Anyways, hope you like this video. 
if you are interested in buying them, I'll leave my Amazon link down below. It does give me a little bit of a kickback to help support my channel, but if not, totally cool. Thank you so much for being here, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!